All right, welcome back, boys. Let's finish up this tier list. I'm ready and I'm feeling good. Glad the doctor's appointment went well, Joe. Yeah, glad to see those crazy pills are working. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the voices are telling me to keep moving forward. That's wonderful. I keep moving forward until my... Until another child feels unsafe. Okay, now we have eight bosses to get through, so we will have enough time to rank them and meet up with Miyazaki at the pub after... He's such a party animal. I worry we're encouraging his serious drinking problem. It's fine. He's built different. Let's start with the regal ancestor spirit. The what now? Come on, Don. Don't tell me your casual ass missed this boss. How am I supposed to remember all 500 names of the bosses I killed? Especially when I killed them all first try. I haven't seen such a bullshit cap since the red one you used to wear. Joe Mama! Chill out before I call your wives. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, exactly, Don. What? This majestic undead deer was so enchanting to watch hop in the sky. It's almost a tragedy I had to kill it. What I don't get is 15 remembrances. 14 of them are extremely memorable, either being shard bearers or required for different endings. Then there's this deer. Why does it have a remembrance? It's obvious Mia must be a furry. I guess because of its unique design and representation of life and spirit ashes, which are important. Maybe we'll see more ancestor spirits in the DLC. Just say you don't know instead of going on a stupid yawn-inducing tangent. You look like a tangent. A what? A tangerine. I don't know what that is. It's a fruit. A what? God damn it. Anyways, I'll give this spirit a C for its insignificance. An easy boss fight. Cool design, though. I want to give it a B and hug him. A C because I can't remember it. All right, then. Now we have the fire giant. I love these fire giants. Great workers. Bet they could help me build lots of walls to keep the illegal Albinorix out. This was the last fire giant. Cursed to tend the flame after losing the war against Marika and the Golden Order. The giants lost? Gross, I hate these loser fire giants. Cool design, but the boss fight was pretty lackluster. Just a bunch of ankle smashing. Was cool as hell, though, to see him rip his own leg off. I love that dedication to their craft. Good workers. Kind of sad he didn't even have a name. He's just Fire Giant. So many random stupid names in the game, and they just decided, let's call this one Fire Giant. Lazy, let's call him Dave. Okay, well, I give Dave a C. It's always exciting to fight giants. Cool midway twist of ripping his leg off. But the boss fight itself could have been better. We'll never forget you, Dave. C tier. I agree with the C tier. Nice, C it is. Now here's one of my personal favorite bosses. Malaketh, the Black Blade. An unending hunger to consume and eat. Didn't know Don was in this game. Shut the fuck up! You could feed him death root and get a different dialogue during the boss fight, which I thought was cool. The fight kind of reminded me of the ape from Sekiro just because of Malaketh's sheer agility, unique animations, and animalistic movement. Yeah, and I really appreciate how unique each phase was. Almost like fighting two different bosses. Can tell a lot of love and work went into Malaketh. Marika wanted a world without destined death, and it led to Malaketh's sword holding the power of the rune of death. There wasn't a single being that didn't fear his power. And then we whooped his bitch ass. So much for destined death. What's funny is the Tarnished shouldn't be able to respawn if they lose against Malaketh and his death blade. Nice, another lazy plot hole. Kind of hard to separate lore and gameplay. Do you want them to delete your save file once you lose to Malaketh? Sure, why not? Wouldn't bother me since I never lose. Easy fight, cool armor, and I want his sword. He gets an A from me. And crumbling Pharaoh Missoula was a sight for sore eyes. Amazing area and level. Very important lore. Great boss fight. Agree that it has to be an A tier at least. Looks like we got a unanimous A for the Black Blade. I heard Michelle say you have a Black Blade in your pants Shut too. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Michelle, don't talk to you. All right, who's next? It is the Cosmic Monstrosity. Oh, Lord. Estelle, natural born of the Shit void. Shit boss, reused and copy-pasted, D tier. I thought you liked the reused bosses. You said it's good business. Great boss. Very smart economic decisions. Cost efficiency from reusing expensive assets. Smart work. A tier. The deer boss was also reused. Wonderful. I need to hire Mia for my own businesses. Yeah, maybe they'd start being successful. Shut the fuck up again. Stay mad, bitch. Don't care, plus didn't ask, plus cry about it, plus get real, plus L, plus mauled Seath cope harder, plus hose mad, plus basic, plus skill issue, plus ratio, plus you fell off, plus the audacity, plus triggered, plus get a life. What? What? How are you? Estelle destroyed the Eternal City and stole its night sky. What an epic concept. Absolute Bloodborne vibes from this boss. Yeah, this cosmic horror really took me back to those good old Bloodborne days. The fact that there's more than one also has terrifying implications. Who knows how many more are out there and what it all means for the fate of the lands between... And as we know, Radon was the Star Scourge, conqueror of the stars. 
Maybe all this time he was keeping these cosmic star monstrosities at bay, protecting the world. But without him, looks like Elden Ring is about to become space invaders. There's a perfect illegal alien joke here, but I used it all up earlier with the Albinorix line. It's okay, Don. You'll get them next time. Thanks, bro. So much mystery behind these beings. I love its design and the implications of it all. Great unexpected boss fight. Really hope we learn more about these cosmic beings in the future. A tier boss, just under Malekith. That's good for me. That's good for me. Jinx. Didn't ask. Next up is Lich Dragon Fortisax. Fortisax? What kind of name is Fortisax? I ought to drop my one sack onto Miyazaki's mouth for this bullshit. Are you okay, Donald? Extra cranky today because his wife didn't peg him last night. Miyazaki's wife owes me 40 sucks for this bullshit. Jesus Christ, Don, you can't say shit like that. Let me solo her if you know what I mean. Stop. I swear if other people heard the stupid shit that comes out your mouth, you'd be canceled. I can't be canceled. The liberal snowflakes only make me stronger. I'd hate to get canceled. I remember my favorite show, Rusty and the Cherry Bloom, got canceled. Well, it didn't really get canceled, but the actor was brutally murdered back in 1723. They didn't have TV shows back then, Joe. You might need to see a different doctor. Also, Barack, you gotta relax. No one's getting canceled. It's just locker room talk. Hearing you say that somehow makes it even worse. The mighty dragon Fortisax had an epic battle against Godwin the Golden. Unfortunately, Fortisax was defeated. And yet, in a twist of events, this made Fortisax respect Godwin. And they became friends. What a cute story. Just like us. I've never heard of such a submissive dragon in my life. What makes their friendship even more beautiful is that when Godwin was assassinated, Fortisax lamented and mourned his dear friend and desperately tried to fight against the death blight. And in typical From Software fashion, when someone tries to do the right thing, they end up getting corrupted. Truly tragic. I can't really relate to getting corrupted. No one in our profession can ever be corrupt. I have to give this a low A. Lore was wonderfully explained by Joe, and the fight was cool. Although there's a lot of dragon bosses in this game, could be a high B. I think for the lore and epicness of it all, it should be low A. Yeah, sure. I agree. Another dragon boss. Great business reusing the same ideas. All right, then. Now it's time for Placidus Axe? Now you're just making names and bosses up. Dragons ruled the world long before the Erd Tree and Placidus Sax was its Elden Lord. You keep saying that word. Plasu, Plasu Dick Sack, Plastic Sack, Plasla, Playsex, Pakistan. It's okay, Don, buddy. You can do it. Shut up. I love this game, but I care about the people. People with dyslexia. This is not good for them. Not inclusive. D-tier boss. Queen Marika arrived to bring upon a new age, which led to the war between the dragons and Golden Order. The dragons would end up losing. Wow, an outsider god comes along and tries to overthrow the dragon regime and make them all go extinct? Such an original From Software story. And this defeat led to the god of dragons to run away, which made Placidus Axe wait for him outside of time itself. Well, all that does sound cool, but I know you're just fucking with me. He's not. The boss is hard to find, but man, oh man, when you do, what a showdown. What a level. What lore. I'll give this a high A for sure. I have the greatest vision of all, Hawk Vision. I'm an eagle. There's no way I'd miss a friggin' dragon. Well, the dragon literally exists outside of time and space. Joe's almost out of time as well. It's time to shut up and give this an A. We'll put it on A. I didn't even see this plastic sack of shit, boss. Top of eight for the dragon, Elden Lord. Now we have one of my personal faves. Yep, it's time for Horaloo. Seriously, what the fuck is that name? Horaloo? D tier for stupid name. Just call him Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Horlu, Horehu, Horton hears a loo. So stupid. I love this boss fight for many, many reasons. Hor are loo, whores are loose. Wait, whores are loose. That's a great name. S tier boss for me. You're cute, aren't you? Bitch, I'm adorable. First Elden Lord started off as a mortal, but his badassery got him promoted to demigod. Insatiable lust for battle, so he took the lion Sirash on his back to suppress these urges. He's an all round alpha. A pure warrior. I'm pretty sure Miyazaki took me as inspiration for Godfrey. First Elden Lord and first Tarnished. One of, if not the most prominent and significant boss in the whole game. He's my true final boss of Elden Ring. I love how throughout the whole game we're fighting monsters, beasts, epic swordsmen, powerful mages, fierce dragons, and then Godfrey says forget all that and just uses his bare hands for his second phase. Truly remarkable. Yeah, I gotta give Hor loose respect for that. But to keep it fair... I also fought him unarmed and won. Despite him killing Sirash to unleash his full bloodlust, it was not enough and we were able to win and become the new tarnished champion. So cool. I think he may have to be highest S tier just for, well, everything. Listen, I'm an alpha guy. He's an alpha guy. I'm okay with him up top. Me too. All right then, lads. Well, that leaves us with the final remembrance and the actual final boss, Radagon and the Elden Beast. Was all right. 
another sword fight, and then another running around against a dragon sperm hallucinogenia looking thing. Radagon assumes control of Marika's body and tries to fight the tarnished but fails. Then the Elden Beast emerges from Radagon, turning him into a sword, and is defeated once more. Radagon fails as a man, fails as a woman, and fails as a sword. What a loser. Was cool to see the living embodiment of the Elden Ring. I wonder what made them decide on it to look like the Elden Beast. Obviously lots of drugs and alcohol, Joe. Come on. You're acting like you don't know Mia. Well, I'll give this boss a B. High B works for me, standard boss mechanics, but the lore and intrigue makes it good. High B it is. Sheesh. Even with all the copy-pasted bosses all over the map, this game still has some of the greatest bosses overall in any FromSoft game. Agreed. So much personality and uniqueness in each of these bosses. And we're still missing a lot of other unique bosses from the list as well. I can't imagine how good the DLC bosses will be, considering the best bosses are always in DLCs. Seems a given that after Elden Ring's DLC, we'll have to update our Soulsborne list and put it up to an S. Hell yeah. Well, that was another epic sesh with the boys. All right, let's get to the pub and tell Zaki all about our list. He doesn't speak English. Oh, yeah. See you, bros. In a bit, guys. First round's on me, okay? Bye-bye.